One of the things I'm really proud of about this product, besides the music, is the packaging. CD sales have dropped in recent years due to the popularity of downloads and streaming. But some of us still like to hold a physical product in our hand with music, artwork, and liner notes in one place. Growing up with vinyl records, CD packaging always seemed to fall short anyway. The small format limits what you can do artistically, and lyrics are often printed so tiny that they're virtually unreadable. Today, at least people have moved away from the old breakable plastic jewel cases to an all-cardboard case, which almost mimics the albums of my childhood. I wanted to take it a step further, creating a craft product with artistic appeal and a lower environmental impact, and I wanted to produce it locally. What we have is an all-recycled cardboard case, which means no more trees were cut down to make it. The design was built off of a photograph by Mark Ostow, who shot me on old-fashioned film in Central Square in Cambridge. The image was then manipulated by David Foote, and the final design was created and printed by Eli Epstein over at Union Press in Somerville, Massachusetts. The letterpress is what we used to call a printing press. The design elements were cut and set by hand. The result is beautiful, and no two prints come out looking exactly alike. This process was also used to produce the posters and will be used for the sleeves for the vinyl records after this campaign ends in success and we have the money to make them. Working with local artisans is rewarding. One has a chance to support the community and get up close to the process. It also lowers the carbon footprint as the cases don't need to be shipped. I picked them up, assembled them, and glued them all myself. The support of your pledge will help to bring this project to the larger format of my youth, something I've been dreaming about since I bought my first records when I was a kid. Still I wouldn't have as many as the nickels, dimes, and pennies that I saved on stuff I found somewhere for free.